But CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. From his end zone, Watson on third and long. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone. And it looks like the offense did get the football back, but it is clearly in that end zone, and it's going to be a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's file this play away, because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. The Titans set to take over behind their quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. to maneuver at the 40. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. Let's get him! Come on! And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you can tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. back to him on first down breaks the tackle he's got room to run My. still shedding tackles and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20 boy 30 more yards and another first down he's off to a great start here in this first quarter it seems like this defense is probably going to have trouble containing him i would agree with that i love the observation and here's the thing their game plan coming to fruition you knew that they came in thinking that they could run it and now they're proving that they can and doing it in a big way the last run got three now here's second and seven and he'll give it here to his running back nine yards on the play there and it sets him up first and goal you were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. They were able to push him backwards on first down, but this time he forces his way in. I wonder if he went back to the huddle and said, guys, just a little bit more help and I can get it done on this one. Maybe even overruled the play call from the sideline, just feeling like he had that opportunity and he wanted to cash it in. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. A shotgun snap for Watson. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. To throw is Watson on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing again, Watson. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Though he's seen some good pressure defensively already here in the first quarter, here's another good example. Here's Watson to throw on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. He'll field this at the five. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And well, folks, once again, the fireworks have begun to go off before the teams even entered the stadium for this one. You had some overactive fingers on social media, if you will, and that continued to make this one of the most public and personal feuds in the NFL. <laughs> and remember back in the day? If you got your comeuppance from starting something like this, if you talk trash and got beat previously, he didn't talk trash before the next game, but that's not the way of the world in the NFL nowadays. These guys continue to go after each other whether they win or lose. And the social media taunting, that continued this week. And lucky for us, we get a chance to see it play out on the field over the next four quarters. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Again, he finds an opening. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And I give this time to the tailback. And he's taken down inside the 30. Ten more there and another first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. And he's heating up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now a handoff here to his running back. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. Blanketed coverage by Houston. Makes it fourth down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Hopkins' kick is good. And that will extend the lead to 11 to nothing. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And he won't quite make it to the 25. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown for the Titans. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's return for six. He's been under a lot of duress, has he? Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. Throwing again on second and 10. Watson, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. He already had the one fumble loss, so now two fumbles lost here in this first half. Not setting the pace the way that you want it done. I mean, here in the first half, already twice the ball's come out and hit the turf. Got to find a way to take care of it. Otherwise, they may have to start thinking about maybe someone different at that position. Throwing again on second down. Tannehill. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, this from 33. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. They've been faced with a tough test today here. Crowd's been really good. They're struggling. He's struggling. We'll see if they can pick things up. And the crowd has had an impact, and they feel good about that because he's not playing very well, not getting the ball to the right places, not doing the things he normally does. He's got to find a way to turn it around against this hostile group. Yeah, because on the road, don't you look too... And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Harold Landry, he's the one 
one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. The final shot before the break, Watson. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. It's picked up by the Titans, and he brings it back. Can you believe it? An offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. This first half has been a... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. But he will not get the two points. He stopped up short, and that is how... And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently, we're going to get right back to it. The Titans hold the lead, and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns so from the 36 now first and 10 and I give this time to the tailback and the hole closes quickly there he gets maybe a couple up to the 38 oh that's a real nice job there by the defensive front they just engaged and held their ground but how about the guy who made the play we often talk about whether they take a good first step or not Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. And look at this. It's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. Watch the run. Watch the run. Mike by four. Mike by four. Watson now on first and 10. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Jayon Brown. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. To try again after the sack. Watson under pressure again, and down he goes again. Jayon Brown, his second sack of the night. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. From the gun, Watson. And that will be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. And he's got this down to the 35. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and it just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And this Texans defense stands tall. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Watson in trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Harold Landry make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. Operating from the gun, Watson. And that is incomplete. Here's Brian Anger now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It's taken to the 26. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And out will come the offense as they take over. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He is north of 200 yards. Any time that you can say you're north of 200 yards, you've done something right. Yeah, you're going to get some big check marks on your grade sheet, and you're going to be in heavy rotation on all the highlight shows, and you might even make a magazine cover or two. <laughs> He's hoping for more. The cherry on top, maybe, as this game goes forward. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first. And they're going to try this again. It's another fake. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And this Texans defense stands tall. Fourth and short in this part of the field. You just know the special teams coordinator was rallying the team, saying, watch the fake, watch the fake. But Brandon, don't they usually say that on every punting situation? Oh, yeah, they can be up 40 in the fourth. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Harold Landry in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it, but fortunate. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, but I think a Texan player was able to get his hands on it, and they will indeed hold on to the ball and the possession. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. From the gun, Watson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is nowhere to go. Here, he lost the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Mike. Switch up, switch up. 41 Mike, 41 Mike. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. And I give this time to the tailback. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land yap, a little extra on top. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory.